All right. Um, welcome back. Happy New Year. Um, <laughs> it's been a it's been a while. Uh, I've been uh, purposefully skipping the last two or three gear unboxing videos because I just didn't feel like doing any. But now I'm back. I have uh, two boxes here. <laughs> and one more coming tomorrow. So I'll. If I'm up to it, I'll make a video on that too. Uh, so yeah, let me, I'll, let's just get straight into this. Oh, first box. And try not to cut myself on this very sharp knife, which I did at work, and that's why I've been kind of not uploading anything. I've cut my finger so badly I wasn't able to play anything. So. It was right when I got my Carvin preamp, which I'm using now for my main tone. Uh, so, yeah. I don't think anyone really gave a, sh <laughs> gave a shit that I wasn't active, but I mean, someone might. <laughs> Let's get to it. Uh, this is <laughs> a RTS GX2000 Express. So, if anyone's been uh, watching for you know a, a little bit of a while, you know I had an Express, but it was the later one with just the black face, and and there were uh, some problems with it. So uh, I didn't really use it as much, I just used the um, regular standard, which is cool, but this one has more, you know, more processing power and, and, and like four uh, preset banks. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up making a video uh, on this one as well. Uh, it looks like the guy did not include the like the rest of the cable because they uh, art made cables were uh, weird but since both of my night, night base pre uh, preamps but base preamps have that like brick i have two <laughs> so I'll, I'll get power to this i think it's the same plug um we'll have to see if not i'm gonna have to contact him and try to see if he can send me it so yeah so that's that um, I've never had too much from Arch, uh, seeing as we're not making this kind of stuff anymore. Um, so let's see here. Just, uh... It's a huge ass box, there's only one thing in here. Snap headstocks. Now this, I hate when people do this. It's the <laughs> worst way to pack stuff in. But um, at least he was kind enough to actually send it. Most people here in Norway don't want to send stuff. Which is actually just them being lazy. Most of the time. 
Oh, this smells fucking gross. Ugh. Most of the times when I get it uh, packed like this, they always wash the things they they pack it in with first. But this one, this. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, that's not pleasant at all. Ah. Sakes. And duct tape as well. Mm. Oh, this smells really bad. Headstock reveal. GTX 23. Applause. I think this might either be older than the one I have or uh, newer. Uh, but by the looks of it, this one might actually be older. So I might do a comparison video actually. Oh, this one even has a cereal and all its plates. Minimal. Oh no, take a guitar. Yeah, loose pots, I was aware of that. Um, nothing that can't be um, fixed. I can just, you know, open it up and, and uh, tighten them. No problem. Um, so, alright, let me just get it out of here. Alright, <laughs> so this is uh, basically just a white one, uh, you know, white model from the one I had, but this snack is uh, lacquered, it has finish on it, uh, which is weird. And the fretboard is. Um, Printer, the red one that I have is um, it has like uh, down here, you know, um, a, a big dark spot where a branch used to be, and I think it's kind of cool, but it uh, it's you know OCD. <laughs> All right. Wow. Almost in tune. Yeah, so I'm gonna restring this. I have some Ernie bolts on, some permanent Ernie bolts. No, temporary Ernie bolts. That's it. Uh, because I have ordered some Alexander strings. So yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This one's. <laughs> these are so nice. And uh, it's in kind of a, it's in the white, but it's yellowed a little bit, but not too much. So you can tell it's vintage. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm going to clean it up, uh, try it, play it, and then I'm, maybe I'll make a comparison video with the red one. Uh, I think this one's older or newer, I'm not sure. Um, there's some um, age difference here. Uh, excuse me. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow uh, in the next one.